guys. It's 1 p.m. Tuesday, the 21st, I believe. I don't really know. Um, <laughs> on my way to pick up Austin. It's so beautiful today. Um, I'm gonna see if I can convince her to let's go walk at that nature preserve. And then we'll go play our chess game. So, on yesterday, for Monday, I didn't um, add to that night the what happened at the end of the night I was talking with my sister Rachel and I was struggling yesterday with where I am right now and what I'm doing with my days um, you know with my life in a sense and I really like you know the social media the coaching the, the coaching and this concept that I have that I want to build of uh, helping individuals and small businesses and yet at the same time I really enjoy writing and I've had several people tell me that just like when I see others and the gifts that they have that they think that I should write and I've been wanting to write this book and yesterday I just you know felt in a sorrow in a sense and I was like I just want to write and so my sister Rachel yesterday was mentioning a conversation she had with someone at about and them mentioning that you know I'm supposed to write this book and so it just it really encouraged me I actually um, you know, felt this rush of energy and emotion because I knew it was true. Like, I know that I'm supposed to write this book and I know that I'm supposed to write, you know, that's why, not that's why, but I believe that's why poetry um, came so fluent to me and not even having any experience with it last year. And I think that I'm really good. And some of the things that I... Um, talk about with others on one-on-one -on -one conversations, which is the reasons I wanted to begin to record my conversations, so I could go back and listen to them because I'm I'm trying to see what people see in me that I don't see, and so um, I didn't tell you guys about that, and that happened yesterday, so I'm so encouraged by that, um, incredibly encouraged by that. Today is so beautiful, and I just got this new wave of clarity, was what it seems like. Um, and I feel really good about it. So earlier today, I posted a video about this podcast I had been talking about over the last year, and I wanted to call title it Success Without a Degree. So I posted that video. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that in here so you guys um, can see it again, But and you can just go to my feed and see the rest of the video. But um, definitely excited to be able to do that. I... Um, should have not should have in the sense like it hasn't happened yet the person agreed the, um to begin to start next week so i'll have that podcast and it's going to be a great one this is an individual that i highly admire and that i will b believe will add incredible value and information um to young adults about success without a degree so me and Alden are going to do that just checking in for the day and uh, earlier i i was doing not a lot earlier but i was consuming a lot and cons this is the way I meditate. I just sit still and I do what 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 I feel like I should be doing in a sense like I felt like I should listen. Like right now I'm listening to a podcast, Bulletproof Radio. And it's a, a episode where this guy is uh, through uh, his understanding of physics and quantum uh, mechanics and all that. How everything is connected. And I've been saying that for the last year. Like we are all connected in some way or fashion and what I do um, affects someone you know across the street and across my neighborhood and across the, you know this the, the city and things like that so I'm listening to that I just read an article about this lady who offers a Kundalini Kundalini infused business coaching which is fucking amazing um, and synchronicity for me because I'm practicing Kundalini and, you know, I'm coaching. So um, Kendra pointed out how I should some way, somehow incorporate my spirituality into my coaching. And I really believe that the biggest lesson I want to teach through coaching others is spirituality and synchronicity and how we're all connected. And through that, in our journey, um, can feel like you're floating on, on your back down a river. It doesn't have to be uphill. And I think it's only experience uh, pain and suffering in a sense uphill because we don't understand yet how we're all connected and how the universe conspires for us in every single moment. So 
I read that article. I um, did a couple of things online on Instagram. I read an article on how to be, oh, an influencer marketer, which is what I set out to be in August 2016. And I'm still going to um, stick to that, that I want to some way, somehow be an influencer marketer and um, get paid for it. So anyway, I did some research on that. Um, I looked through jobs in Facebook, in the Facebook marketplace or whatever. And that's pretty cool, um, mainly just to experience it and see what that's about. And, yeah, so, I didn't get all that, just now filming, recording my day. Hopefully, Austin is up. She usually doesn't get up yet. Well, Austin was kind of ready, so she just jumped in the shower. I just organized, I'll show you guys, I didn't even get any of that. The back, the very back, I had still had a, I got a whole bunch of clothes back there. <laughs> so... I'm going to go to my storage and organize that so my mind can get refocused. And I got a pack for this weekend, um, how I'm going with Kendra to Austin. She's got some classes over there. So while Austin's getting ready, I'm going to do that. Back behind there is my underwear, my yoga mat, and my yoga block. More shoes behind this guy. I got my hats, my beanies, my toiletries, um, and that guy. This is just an extra bag if I need it. And there's my laptop. And these are all my journals where I'm going to write my book out of. And those are books that I'm going to read. Those are my vitamins. Yep, vitamins and lotion and things like that. Chest game in there. More shoes. Yeah, I got it down.
on, we'll help you, girl. Come on. We'll help you. Well, kind of. I'm just gonna are put you, okay? you on, on the vlog. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, guys. Oh no! Jack, just... we're recording me. Fuck! <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Fuck. Oh, Let's go, Desi. Hurry. Stop playing. <laughs> Do something with your life. <laughs> okay. Oh, Diego's gonna change this. <laughs> okay. Got your own film lady. <laughs> she just looked at me all crazy. Who's that one? That one over here, that thing. shirt <laughs> oh you're gonna have a shirt the wrong one. let me see if i can get something in there what we do here is go back 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 back